It's almost the middle of April, and this morning we have all this curious white stuff on my stuff. Not quite enough on Sawdust Mountain to get the snowboard out. I have all these logs I want to try to get processed today, so I'm going to do most of these off camera just so I can get them done. Those geese keep flying around in circles. I wonder if they're lost. We're getting to the time of the year when the bugs that are in them that killed the trees are gonna fly and spread to the other ones. So I need to get these processed and get the bugs destroyed. We got all those logs milled up, that went quickly. What, you missed it all? You must have blinked. Maybe you should start having one of those little bottles of Visine when you watch my videos. That way if your eyes get dry, you can squirt some of that in there, then you don't have to blink and miss anything. This is what you missed out on, making all this lumber. Plus, there's more that's down over there. Now to load up this pile of Charlie Brown boards to take to a customer. That went quick and easy. Remember this moment. Later in the video, we'll get back to this. This right here, don't forget it. Right now I'm gonna go deliver this to a customer, then I'll be right back and we'll go get some more logs. Because if you haven't noticed, we're out of logs. Don't go away, I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Sometimes people see me measuring and bucking logs and I get asked, what lengths I cut my logs into. We'll go over that a little bit today. These were the trees we cut down and yarded out when there was snow on the ground. I think that was from the video about how to tell a real logger from a fake logger. A few people took that video a little too seriously, but it looks like most had fun with it. If I remember right, I cut these into 32 foot, yep. If I was to put them on a log truck and sell these to the commercial sawmill, these would be the perfect length, 32 foot plus some trim. If I was to ship them to the peeler mill to make plywood out of, I would cut these to 34 foot plus trim, which would be about 35. But these ones are going on my mill. I cut these at 32. It was just a good size for pulling up out of the over there. Then once I get them to the road, I'm gonna cut them into 16s. 32 is good because I can get two 16s. Most of the time when you see me loading logs on my flatbed trailer, it's usually either 16s or 20s. With the 16s, I can get two eight foot logs out of them. With the 20s, I can get two 10 foot logs. 32s would be too long for the trailer, too long to fit through trees and places. My mill will cut 16 feet, but I like to do eights and tens. I especially like doing eight. For one, eight foot boards are half the weight of 16 foot boards. 16 foot boards are heavy. It also helps to take advantage of taper and sweep. Sweep is curvature in the log. If you have a little bit of curve in a log, which most logs around here do, if you make 16 foot lumber out of a curved log, there's gonna be a lot of waste. If you cut that log into eight foot logs, there's gonna be less waste. We'll cut these into 16s and then get them out of here. One of the reasons why I yarded these out in the snow, well, main reason was because I was snowed in for a couple of weeks and I got bored. The other reason is it gave me an opportunity to skid these through the snow instead of the dirt. So these are very clean logs. Probably my biggest challenge or problem with that mill is dirty logs, dealing with dirty logs, having to clean up the logs before I mill them. But if I can put clean logs on there, that helps a lot. The object today is to get these logs out of here Lift them up with the tractor without getting them dirty.
Look what I found over here. Big leaf maple blossoms. Apparently you can eat these, but they have to be at the right stage. Looks like these might be right. I'm gonna take a picture of one of these and send it to my can I eat these consultant. Find out if these are in the stage that are good to eat. I heard back from my can I eat this thing consultant and she said they have to be just emerging but not quite fully in blossom. Looks like these might be at the right stage. Not too bad. Not super good. Probably not going to be the next ice cream flavor. I guess I'd eat those. If you're watching this video, it meant I lived long enough to at least edit and upload the video and they weren't super toxic. It's kind of an awkward spot to park the trailer and then load it up. So since the sawmill is only about 150 yards up the hill, I'm just tractoring them up to it individually. Not super efficient, but it keeps them clean. Those maple blossoms were kind of weird, but I kind of want more of them. Let's buck these up first. This one's a 32, but I cut the top log out of this tree to 24 because it wasn't long enough for a 32. With a 24, I can get three eights out of it. So I'll cut it into a 16 and an eight.
Well, that's the end of those logs. They're all at the mill waiting to be processed, along with the bugs that are in them. Even though the foliage is still green, I could tell those logs were half dry and dead. Remember earlier in the video, there was a part where I said, remember this part. Don't forget this part of the video because this part will come into the video later. We'll get back to it. Never mind that, you can just forget about that part because I came up with a new improved part. See, this scene's even better than the other one. I had you remember that other one because I thought that would be a good scene to tell you the other reason why I like cutting logs to eight feet or eight foot multiples. While I was loading up, I wanted you to remember that scene so when I got to the part where I tell you that, I could use that scene over again. But this one's even better. While I was doing all that other rigmarole moving logs around, another customer said they wanted all of this, which gave me the opportunity to just load up right on the moment, then tell you that reason. Eight foot boards are not as cumbersome to store or for stackering. Remember that word we learned a while back, stackering. It's not as cumbersome for that. And eight foot boards fit into the back of my truck really nicely. When I take a load into a customer, I can deliver these small amounts just in the back of my truck. If I had 16 foot boards, I'd have to use my trailer. Now when I go into town to deliver the lumber, I'll do other things while I'm there and I won't have to deal with the trailer finding places where I can park where trailers will fit. That was a lot of buildup just to tell you that simple thing. I like eight foot boards because they're easy to fit in the back of the truck and they're easy to stack. That might've been really disappointing after all that buildup. The things you put up with to watch this channel. I don't know how you do it. I gotta take this to the customer. Next time, maybe we'll mill up those logs. I don't know if you wanna watch me mill the same Douglas fir logs over and over again gets a little repetitive. We'll do that unless I decide to not do that and we'll do something else. 